Welcome back to the Daily Bible Chapter. It's Tuesday, January the 2nd, 2024, and today we're reading Ezekiel chapter 22. The heading for Ezekiel chapter 22, Sins of Jerusalem. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Now, son of man, will you judge? Will you judge the bloody city? Yes, show her all her abundance abominations, then say, Thus says the Lord God, The city sheds blood in her own midst, that her time may come, and she makes idols within herself to defile herself. You have become guilty by the blood which you have shed, and have defiled yourself with the idols which you have made. You have caused your days to draw near, and have come to the end of your years. Therefore I have made you a reproach to the nations and a mockery to all countries. Those near and those far from you will mock you as infamous and full of tumult. Look, the princes of Israel, each one has used his power to shed blood in you. In you they have made light of father and mother. In your midst they have oppressed the stranger. In you they have mistreated the fatherless and the widow. You have despised my holy things and profaned my Sabbaths. In you are men who slander to cause bloodshed. In you are those who eat on the mountains. In your midst they commit lewdness. In you men uncover their father's nakedness. In you they violate women who are set apart during their impurity. One commits abomination with his neighbor's wife. Another lewdly defiles his daughter-in-law. And another in you violates his sister, his father's daughter. In you they take bribes to shed blood. You take usury and increase. You have made profit from your neighbors by extortion, and have forgotten me, says the Lord God. Behold, therefore, I beat my fist at the dishonest profit which you have made, and at the bloodshed which has been in your midst. Can your heart endure, or can your hands remain strong, in the days when I shall deal with you? I, the Lord, have spoken, and will do it. I will scatter you among the nations, disperse you throughout the countries, and remove your filthiness completely from you. You shall defile yourself in the sight of the nations, then you shall know that I am the Lord. The word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, the house of Israel has become dross to me. They are all bronze, tin, iron, and lead. In the midst of a furnace they have become dross from silver. Therefore thus says the Lord God, Because you have all become dross, therefore behold, I will gather you into the midst of Jerusalem, as men gather silver, bronze, iron, lead, and tin into the midst of a furnace, to blow fire on it, to melt it. So I will gather you in my anger and in my fury, and I will leave you there and melt you. Yes, I will gather you and blow on you with the fire of my wrath, and you shall be melted in its midst. As silver is melted in the midst of a furnace, so shall you be melted in its midst. Then you shall know that I, the Lord, have poured out my fury on you. And the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, say to her, You are a land that is not cleansed or rained on in the day of indignation. The conspiracy of her prophets in her midst is like a roaring lion tearing the prey. They have devoured people. They have taken treasure and precious things. They have made many windows in her midst. Her priests have violated my law and profaned my holy things. They have not distinguished between the holy and unholy, nor have they made known the difference between the unclean and the clean. And they have hidden their eyes from my Sabbaths, so that I am profaned among them. Her princes in her midst are like wolves tearing the prey to shed blood, to destroy people, and to get dishonest gain. Her prophets plastered them with untempered mortar, seeing false visions, and divining lies for them, saying, Thus says the Lord God, when the Lord had not spoken. The people of the land have used oppressions, committed robbery, and mistreated the poor and needy, and they wrongfully oppressed the stranger. 
So I sought for a man among them who would make a wall, and stand in the gap before me on behalf of, a, of the land, that I should not destroy it, but I found no one. Therefore I have poured out my indignation on them, I have consumed them with the fire of my wrath, and I have recompensed their deeds on their own heads, says the Lord God. Ezekiel chapter 22